In this particular demonstration, I am going to show you using pointers to a character type of data, how you can copy the content of one array to the other. I have declared an array name one with capacity 100 characters with the message welcome to UK which stands for Uttarakhand. Name two with the capacity 100 contains nothing as of now, just some random garbage messages. I have defined a pointer ptr12 character type of data, ptr2 a pointer to a character type of data. I am giving the address of array name 1 to ptr1 and address of array name 2 to ptr2. So what at this point ptr1 contains is it contains address of w. So ptr1 contains address of w, value at address of w happens to be w. So is w equal to null? No. Okay, w is not equal to null. All right. So what is going to happen is whatever is the value referred to by ptr1 that is this w is copied at the location referred to by ptr2. So at the zeroth location of ptr2 w is copied okay from the zeroth location of ptr1. Then ptr1 now refers to the address of e because I have done ptr1 plus plus. Now ptr1 value at address of e happens to be e is e not equal to null is true so now this e is copied to the first location of ptr2 now this particular increment keeps on happening till ptr1 happens to reach let's say backslash n now backslash n is also copied from name 1 into name 2 Finally, at some point of time, this null character is going to be encountered. It is going to be the 13th character. At this point, ptr1 contains the address of null. Star ptr1 is equal to null character whose ASCII value is 0. This condition fails. ptr2 is also referring to this particular location. If we are doing the copying of characters by ourselves, that is through our own code, it is our responsibility to add the null string because the compiler cannot know where and when to add the null. So now ptr2 is also going to be 13, ptr1 is also 13. So at the location referred to by ptr2, add null. Now if you print copied string, which is going to be copied in name2, you are going to get the message welcome to UK also in name2. Just to give you a high level overview, name1 is the first array, name2 is the second array. I want to copy welcome to UK from name1 into name2. So ptr1 contains the address of name1 in this line, line number 11. ptr2 contains the address of name2. As long as this particular fellow ptr1 is not referring to a null value, I am going to copy every character referred to by this particular fellow into the location referred by ptr2. To get a line by line explanation of this, please take a look at the theoretical discussion prior to this video. After I copy w, I need to increase ptr by 1 so that I can go to e. Then I need to increase ptr2 to by also 1 so that I can copy e to the first position, l to the second position, third position and so on. Finally at some point ptr1 is going to point to null. Now I will come out of the loop and I need to see that I terminate location referred to by ptr2 as also null so that the copying is completed. Now if I print the copied string you are going to get the message welcome to UK. Let's try to run this particular piece of code and let's see if my explanation holds good. Alright I need to remove this otherwise it's not going to run. Okay, now here you can see it's very clear. The copied string is that message here. You can see this particular message. And name 2 is the second array. So, welcome to UK has been copied from name 1 onto name 2 using pointers to name 1 and pointers to name 2. So, please take a look at this while loop and look at the theoretical description preceding this to see how the copying went about.